Coffee Dojo. We are here at K9 Wine and Dine. It's a really cool event. It's here at Flat Creek Winery, and we're here to um, benefit the um, a local club. So we're gonna have an exciting time here. We got Daisy here. Daisy, what's up? What you doing? So Some I stuff did here. <gasps> Landry, what's up? How are you? <laughs> hey. Yay, that looks so good. So I'm here at the Canine Wine and Dine and uh, they have a little agility set up for the dogs. And it, funny enough, you look what sequence it is. Jump, jump, tunnel, jump, jump. <laughs> so I uh, couldn't prepare for this any better, but we're gonna have some fun with a second. Tunnel, Daisy, hop, hop. Yeah, good job, sweetie. Hop, hop, here, tunnel. That's it, Tom. Daisy, hop, hop. And one of the best things about teaching your dog a bed stay is being able to have them stay while you're enjoying the place at an event like this. And Daisy's been doing a good job. She's hanging out over here. My hair is a little crazy. I'll fix that for you guys. Wonderful thing about having short hair. <laughs> but Daisy's over here. She's having, doing a really good job. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. She's staying on her bed, having a good time. So uh, one of those exercises that I hope to teach you guys soon here on the vlog. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit more of some water and then I'm gonna get some pizza because I actually haven't eaten any breakfast or any lunch. And it's been a crazy morning, but I'm happy I'm here, enjoying this beautiful weather here in Austin, Texas. Um, just look at this view. It's so beautiful being out here and enjoying this wonderful weather. And I hope you guys are doing something similar with your dogs and having some fun, enjoying life with them. So, thanks guys. Oh, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Days like this where you're just enjoying the weather with your dog and hanging out it just makes life just amazing and um, I know you guys do want that with your dogs too I want you to live a wonderful life with them and sometimes you just get lost in all the training and you get figure out oh my gosh why is my dog doing this behavior why is my dog doing that behavior why can't I stop from doing this behavior and the reality is this is that it's not about what you don't want them to do it's about what you do want them to do about how you want them to behave versus not, not how you don't want them to behave. And just living life with them and enjoying life with them and teaching the skills needed for that. So that way you can hang out and have fun with them and enjoy this wonderful world that's around us. And I hope you guys get that from my vlogs here that I just really do love life with my dog. And I hope to help you guys do the same. So it's been a great day with Daisy so far. Scratching her chest enjoying this wonderful weather. I know I've said that multiple times, but you know, every day is an adventure with me and Daisy and my dogs, and I hope that every day is an adventure with you, and it's an enjoyable adventure and an enjoyable journey, and I hope to help you discover that path to life with your dog. I love you, Daisy. Daisy. So here I am, about to enjoy a delicious pizza, and there's Daisy. On our bed stay. Another great thing to have a good stay is when you go to a restaurant or places to eat, and it's nice to be able to get your dog to stay somewhere and hang out while you eat. So, all right, I gotta return this play here. Daisy, you stay. Let's go. All right, I am all the way over here. Let's see if Daisy stayed the whole time. Yay, Daisy! What a good girl. Very nice. Good job, Daisy.
sometimes. It's hard that when your hands are full, though I do have my phone in my other hand. Sometimes when your hands are full, it's nice to have an off-leash dog to come with you um, to where you need to go. Daisy, let's go. When you uh, are about to cross a street, it's always best to get your dog into a sit. Even if they're on leash or off leash, just so that way if they're ever running across the street, um, that they stop before they cross it. Um, that, and that will help to keep them safe just in case um, anything should occur. Uh, if a car is driving by and they see a dog on the side, uh, it gives them just a little bit more time before they cross the street um, to make the car stop and not hit them. So. I always suggest just make your dog sit aside before crossing the street. Give me a release cue. Daisy, let's go. And then crossing the street. Well, I hope you guys had a great time with me over at the K9 Wine and Dine. And so guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below. It was really good to kind of show you guys something fun you can do with your dogs, just using some simple behaviors like walking off leash, come when called, and stay. So those are the three main behaviors I want you guys to focus in on with your dogs. Come when called, walking on leash, and off leash, and stay. So that's the main three. And I hope that you guys, as we go through these vlogs, I can help you guys achieve those behaviors. And if you have any questions about them, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for all the comments down below. and. I am so appreciative of the response I got on my last video and so thank you homeschooling for dogs and Josh and Ashley and Rachel for your comment this last video. Um, Ashley, Daisy's favorite toy is a squeaky tennis ball too so I think that's really fun that they both enjoy something similar. Um, she loves all tennis balls. So a squeaky tennis ball is used for a special reward for her and it only comes from me. So if she ever finds a squeaky tennis ball like at a park, I make sure to take that resource and make sure she doesn't play with it with anybody else because I like that the squeaky tennis ball is specifically for her and I. And so we'll talk more about toys and training and food and future vlogs. But thank you guys for joining here on the Doggy Dojo. If you haven't discovered the path to life with your dog, subscribe down below. And as always, have fun with your dogs. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.